Hi, I'll pick up where I left off in the last video on the chapter on the brace from Carl Philip Emanuel Box Versuch über die wahre Art das Klavier zu spielen. Im dritten Falle entstehen zwei Punkte zwischen welchen der Doppelschlag gemacht wird, C. Die Einteilung finden wir bei zwei in Noten ausgeschrieben und ist allezeit dieselbe. Dieser Fall kommt oft vor, wenn das Tempo so langsam ist, dass diese Art von Noten zu langweilig werden will. In gleichen bei Einschnitten, 1, und vor den Kadenzen, wenn, nach einer punktierten Note, in demselben Tone, ein Triller darauf folgt. 2. Bei heruntergehenden punktierten Noten von keiner besonderen Länge kommt diese Art, den Doppelschlag anzubringen, nicht vor. Das Exempel 3 wenn es soll durch diese Manier ausgefüllt werden, stellt einen eigentlichen Sitz des Doppelschlags vor, weil ein Triller stattdessen sowohl über der ersten Note als auch nach ihr alle Zeit falsch ist. Wir sehen aus der Abbildung dieses Exempels, dass der Doppelschlag sowohl nach der ersten als über der zweiten Note, 4, angebracht wird. Aus der dabei befindlichen Einteilung kann man leicht urteilen, dass zu diesem Falle ein langsames Tempo erfordert wird. In the third case, as is shown in the C example, when the brace occurs after a dotted note, two dots arise between which the brace will be played. So originally there was one dot and after the brace is added, where once was one dot is now two. And where are the dots? The first is after the first G in the written out distribution, and the second is after its second G. So what you get as a result is not just one, but two dotted rhythms. And then, there is the A after the dotted G. And you can see that that A went from being, or goes from being a 16th note or a semiquaver to being a 32nd note or a demi-semiquaver. Bach says that it's Einteilung, its distribution or how it's divided up is always the same. So in other words, this is how we do it. This is how we do it. <laughs> this is a wake up call. And the more awake you are, the louder it'll ring true. As can be heard in all, and I do mean all, of Lilliput's Roll of Honours recordings, performances and teaching, this information is completely unknown to them. They have no conception 
of the extent of their ignorance. And I mean ignorance as in the, the proper, you know, the actual, it's the right word to describe what it is. It's not as an insult. And if they feel insulted by the word ignorance, it is their ignorance that, um, that is making them feel insulted and not me using the accurate word to describe them. The role of honor divides such a figure into four equal parts, where their turn, that cage ornament, that nothing ornament, because nothing exists in the cage, where their turn fills the second of those four parts. And then the short note, the A in this case, would fill the fourth part. So they'd have the G in the first part, the turn in the second part, the next G in the third part, and then the A in the fourth. And all those parts would be equal in length. So in effect, in both their playing and in their teaching, so in their students playing and in their students' students playing, they eradicate any and all dotted rhythms. Bach, Mozart and Beethoven, had they been looking on, it would have been the death, the obliteration of the dotted rhythm they'd have been witnessing. Mediocrity eradicated the dots. Mediocrity eradicated the dotted rhythm. It is through the infliction of many such injuries is Lilliput and its role of honour slowly killing off classical music. This, however, is a big injury. It is cutting off your access to music. Hence the cage. I've mentioned this before, the hop, skip and jump in athletics. You know that, like it's a form of the long jump, the hop, skip and jump. So the skip will flow from the hop and the jump will flow from the skip. An incorrect hop will negatively affect both the skip and the jump. That is the damage an incorrect hop will do. If one is not aware of the hop being wrong, that person is going to thus have a false understanding or conception of the skip and jump. The hop, skip and jump represent music here in this analogy. <laughs> when you don't realize what you're doing is wrong, You're, you're going to end up with a completely wrong understanding or conception of music. Because that incorrect practice is going to affect what comes before and what comes after it. That is why the dynamic markings of Beethoven, for example, are so difficult to follow. Because the, the, the you know, Beethoven doesn't, Beethoven doesn't add his dynamic markings because he'd prefer a, a sforzando here, or he chooses just like the Lilliput people will choose from their buffet as they like, and think, you know, the, the mess they've concocted is an actual meal, but it's not, it's a mess. 
Beethoven does add, add dynamics to that principle. He adds dynamics as they occur in the world of music. And when you are not walking in that world, you are not gonna find those dynamics Beethoven is describing. They are landmarks. They're like, if you're giving directions and you say, yeah, you follow the road till you get to a big, a big, um, big yellow building. It's the fact that the big yellow building is mentioned is to, is to tell you, you are going in the right direction. And it's the same in the world of music. Beethoven, you know, with every piece, just like Mozart or Bach, they, they, have, they have mapped a path they have taken through the world of music and they describe the landmarks on the way. So for me, Beethoven wouldn't need to, to write in any expression marks whatsoever. And I'd still be doing them exactly like they are in the score. But what they do is, is help let me know that I am on the right path in the world of music because I see, Beethoven says, you'll see a forzando there. If you're on the right way, you'll see a forzando. And then I, I, I pass a forzando and say, yes, that's it. It's there. I am going the same way Beethoven went. So the role of honor aren't able to follow Beethoven's expression marks in a natural way when it comes to the brace after a dotted note because they, they do it wrong. And I'm not yet done with this, but I'll go on for now because I'm combining it. This is a, this is a big, this is breaking news. This is a big, this, this has a huge impact on how you play. And I'll go on for it now, but I still, you know, I'm combining it with covering the paragraph. So I'll continue covering the paragraph and I'll be coming back to it and, and saying more about it. Okay, I'll leave it at that for this video and I'll pick up where I left off in the next. Thanks, bye.